Alright, so today I just wanted to show you how to manually edit the grub settings um, on a Linux machine. So, one of the reasons you may want to do this is that you might have extra entries in your grub, or you might want to change the order of the entries in your grub, and you might, might want to have it, you know, boot to default to Windows, or, or it just, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and remove an entry from, from the grub. And the reason I'm going to do that is that, um, in this system, the operating system was Windows 7 at some point, and it was updated to Windows 10. And if you look here in SDA2, when you turn on the computer and it goes to Grub, so you have installed Linux alongside of Windows um, here in this 300 gigabyte partition. So what happened was when it installed Windows, it did not delete the uh, entry for Windows 7 in the master bootloader. So the, the MBR, the master boot record. So I can't delete that partition and I don't want to mess with what Windows has going on there. So what I want to do is just go ahead and, and um, change the grub so that it doesn't show Windows 7 anymore. So um, the first thing you need to do is create a backup of the grub configuration file. So if I, um, if I look in the boot folder and if you're using Fedora or some other version of Linux, it might be um, located in a different location, I'm not sure, but in Ubuntu, um, the boot file is located, is where the grub file is located, right? So the directory for grub is in boot, and if I check to see what's in grub, there it is, grub.config right there. So what I want to do um, first is make a copy of that, right? So I'll say sudo cp for copy. And I will say the location of the grub config. And in this case, just because I, I know that if I edit it and something isn't working right, then, um, you know, I'll be able to restore it. But if editing it is fine and everything, then I can just delete the backup later if I wanted to. So what I'll just put it on home user, user uh, desktop. Okay. And so here we have a copy of it. Okay, so that's that's the the original grub file in case anything happens to it. So what I'll do here is I will uh, go ahead and use a text editor. In this case, I'll use get it. And if you don't have uh, if you don't have get it, you can actually on Ubuntu just say apt get install get it. Okay, but in this case, I'm just going to use get it to edit it, and I will use the location of grub. So now um, you have to use sudo to edit this file because it's in a location that requires root privile privileges to edit. But if I look through here, in this case, I know what I'm trying to delete. So I'll just say control F and I'll type windows. Okay. And you can even add windows seven. Okay. So here I see that there's a menu entry for windows seven, right? Now, if I go, the reason I know that this is on is on the, the same drive as Windows 10 is because if I look here, it says it's on device SDA2, right? So then if I go, you know, back to the hardware settings and look at my disks, I'll see, yep, SDA2 right here is where Windows 10 is located. So uh, I can't just delete that and remove that entry for Windows that way. So what I'll do is I'll check to see, okay, look, these are the other entries for for other things within the, the grub. So if I just delete this entry right here, okay. And I'll save the file. That removes that entry from grub altogether so that when I reboot the computer, what I'll see is no Windows 7 as an entry. You gotta be really careful though, if you, um, you know, if you delete something that you're not supposed to delete here, you're gonna wanna restore it from that grub file there. And so you'll just overwrite that using a copy command. Um, yeah, there's other things you can add in, in here, like the, the color and, and the way the menu looks and so on. And if I'm not mistaken, you might even be able to um, set like a background picture um, instead of the default background picture. But in any case, that is exactly how um, editing it should work. So if I type uh, update grub i wonder if it, it will repopulate that file i'm 
Windows 10 loader on SDA1. And if it says Windows, okay, so if I update the grub, it's going to replace that, that entry that I just removed. So I'll just go ahead and delete it again and then reboot the computer and see if the uh, Windows 7 entry is no longer there. And the, the reason for that is because I know that the Windows 7 entry is not going to lead to a Windows 7 operating system. So when I'm giving this computer to this person that I'm um, configuring for, there's a possibility that if they click on that, there would be a problem. So I'll go ahead and test that and then see what happens. All right, so now that I've booted the computer up, you can see that all the entries are there, minus the Windows 7. 